na putu za Kobo Pidi morate voditi računa o gorivu. Ovo je posljedna stanica gdje možete nasuti gorivo. Nakon toga možete ostati na putu. Ovo je moj prijatelj Dejan. Moja podrška na putu za Kobo Pidi. Bez njega pustinja bi se teško savladao. Kreći. Iako se nalazimo u srcu australijske pustinje, imali smo tu sreću da nas dočeka u Kubopidiju ona redka pustinska kiša. Svima nalazimo se u muzeju Opala koji drže naši prijatelji iz Grčke. Hvala, mate. Hvala je. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the old Thomas mine. Thank you so much. So, what's your story about Opala? Are you still in the mining? As I heard, your family have a long history in this place. Yes. So, can you just shortly explain us about some story about Opala? Our family started mining in 1962. Um, and then we got into the uh, cutting and setting side of things. So this is some of the jewellery that we've made here. And I can just show you some beautiful Cubapedi opal um, that we've mined. And then we've had set. So you'll see that's what we call a beautiful crystal opal. Mm -hmm. You see some gorgeous colours in yeah. that one there. Um, this one here is uh, um, something from the black opal family. You see very dark in... In, in color, but very popular mm -hmm, mm -hmm. through Europe. Um, and you see it's a darker base, you know, but with beautiful colors there. Yeah. Uh, you'll see here, this is what we call the milky opal. This is the most common opal mm -hmm. found here in Cooperpedi. And that's gorgeous, gorgeous color throughout there. And you see the workmanship is amazing. So you'll see here, you know, as you look across the tray here, some beautiful, you know, different colors, um, you know, we find all the different colors. You see that's a black opal just there. Um, so we find a range of different colors here in Cooper mm. um, When did yeah. you start with the jewelry business? Um, we started working, uh, um, I started cutting when I was about 15 years old and then started working with the jewelry uh, um, in my early 20s. So, right. Yeah, we enjoy uh, uh, working with it um, as a family. Um, so there's no any more any miners in the family anymore. We're just getting back into the mining now. Oh, really? So yeah, so the family's been out of mining for many years, but uh, now within the next six months, we're going to start drilling again mm -hmm. and start working underground. I heard there's no too many miners anymore. In the there's place. I think just over a hundred miners left in town. Um, the problems that we face, the cost of everything keeps going up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're looking forward to getting back in in the mining game. Uh, and fingers crossed we can find something. Finger crossed? Uh, yeah, something big. So, yeah. yeah, but we're doing all right. I was before in Cooper PD, but it's uh, my first time in the museum. Yeah. Could you please take a tour? Us, uh, yeah, not a problem. So what we have here is the oldest mine here in town. Mm -hmm. It dates back to 1916. Oh. So it's an old hand-dug opal mine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you through the old mine. You're going to see how the mine has worked back in the early days. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the gallery as well with a lot of history in there, and then an underground home. Thank you so much. So follow me down yeah. this way and we'll get you started. Thanks, man. Okay. 
Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> so just through here, guys, follow me through here. And we're going to start off here at number one. You're going to see some beautiful rough opal in the wall. Um, I'll just squeeze through here, guys. So what you'll see here is, this is what we're looking for. Oh, okay. All right, this is the vein, and this is what the miner is chasing. Mm -hmm. So as you're digging underground, you're looking for this trace just through here. Once you see that, or well, then you start digging by hand. So you take the, you know, opal out all through here, and then you put it in your bag. Oh, okay. All right, you take it home and you wash it out. Um, and that's what we're looking for. So this opal is running that way, mm -hmm. so we tunnel in okay. through there. Okay? So that's the most common uh, opal? In the this is the grey, yeah, this is the milky opal. This is the most common opal found. Mm -hmm. But like I showed you there before, we can have the crystal opal, mm -hmm. um, and also we can have the black opal as well. So there's many different uh, um, shades of opal, all the colours of the rainbow. The rarest is black opal. The rarest is the black opal and the most expensive. Okay. Yeah. Now come down this way. Um, I'll take you downstairs, guys. Come through here. So come in here, guys. And what you're going to see here, this is all dug by hand. You can see the miner, he would pick mm -hmm. by hand through here. Um, and this is some of the old equipment that the miners would use. Oh, okay. So everything was done by hand in the early days, and they also used the explosives. Mm -hmm. So the dynamite. Um, um, a lot of uh, um, you know the old miners used uh, um, you know the wheelbarrow there. You will see up here is an old shaft, or or up through there, and that's where the miner used to come come down, guys. You'll see. You'll see the miner would climb, climb down here, um, but he's dug this out, you know, over the years and gone deeper. But that's how they used to climb down. Um, I'll show you just through there an example of how the miner would climb in and out. Mm -hmm. uh, come, come through the mine here. Um, you'll have to crouch down a little bit, guys, but this will give you a good example of how the miner would would work. So you'll see here, just in this mm -hmm. you know area, that the old miner would always be working on his knees, and he'd be working with a pick, and you can see what he's you know chipping into the level there. Um, they use the leather bucket. The hide bucket, they'd mm -hmm. carry it over to the winch, oh. and then they winched it out. So everything was done by hand in the early days. So many of them. Job. Beautiful, yeah. Amazing. But very hard, very tough, uh, uh, very hard way of uh, uh, um, you know, making money, but living as well. In the early days, you know, there wasn't much water or, or food. Um, so when, when first miners came to the... 1915. Yeah. 1915. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is one of the oldest mines. This dates back to 1916. Mm -hmm. So it is amazing. Come through, guys, and, and I'll show you a bit more, you know. But, but you can feel how the, mm -hmm. how the miner, you know, would operate. So, uh, come, come through here, guys. So here's... Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> so, I'll show you. I'll show you just here. Yeah. All right. Come, come through here. You'll see here's a clear example of how the opal miner oh, okay. would would uh, climb up and down the shaft. So the miner would, you know, climb down. You see the small indentations here yeah. for the legs, uh, for the feet, and the miner would climb in and out. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. 
That's a good, a, a good shot. Yes. And just through here, guys, you see Cuba PD um, was an ancient seabed. So we, here you'll see a group of cockle shells. Mm -hmm. You see, this is the mussel shell that you'll see in the pasta dishes. And that's all opalized seashells. And this is natural that we've left in the ground. Uh, it's amazing, you know, Mother Nature and her creation. What is the reason, the main reason of the different colors of the opal? Oh, that, I'll, I'll have to, it's a bit technical with the spheres. It, again, ah, okay. hard, to, hard for me to explain. The young girl can explain. Ah, okay. So maybe we put her on camera just to explain the mm. colors. Okay. Um, but it's a bit technical. But yeah, this is just more of the mine. You see, in the early days, we used a lot of explosives um, through, through here, and that's the old wind, ah. wind sock. Mm -hmm. So when we used the blast, uh, um, 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 the um, you know uh, there'd be the fumes, very dangerous, deadly fumes downstairs, mm -hmm. and the windsock would draw the air mm -hmm. and flush it out. Mm -hmm. And you'll see through here some of the the areas where they've used explosives. You see, uh, you see here some of the areas where they've used the dynamite. Um, so you drill in, you drill in, they use the dynamite. And that's the small little pockets. So nowadays we are still using the explosive? Not, not much anymore. Not much anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of licensing. There's four different licenses and the cost is very high. Ah, okay. So nowadays, you know, we use machinery. Machines. We use the excavator or we use the tunneling machine. Mm -hmm. um, but come up a bit further and I can show you the tools that the miner would use. Watch your step here, guys. So you'll see here, guys, this is the this is what this is what the miner used. You'll see the hand drill just there. So you know the miner would use the drill to drill into the um, you know drill into the wall, um, and then you put your dynamite in mm. your sticks, and then you blast. So that's the main tools that the miner would use. And you can see, you know, the wear and tear of what the miners, you know, worked with. Heavy machinery. It is heavy machinery <laughs> is, is the better option. Uh, but come up here and I'm going to show you a, a um, you know, here's a good example of, of the drill that I'm talking uh -huh. about. So, you know, your hand drill, uh, this one here. And that's what they use for the blasting, you know. As you come up here, you're going to see the different uh, um, types of fuses <coughs> and the detonators that the miner will use and the cortex. And that's what we use when we're making the explosives. All right. Uh, you'll see here, this is a little bit of opal trace. And that's what the miner's looking for. You see the thickness, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. beautiful colour. Um, and that's what the miner dreams to find, is um, beautiful pieces like that there. We heard a lot, of, uh, a lot about uh, Serbian history in Kubrick. What can you tell us about Greek history? In the... Yeah, um, a lot of the migrants came in the early days. Uh, um, a lot of the migrants uh, you know, lived in Melbourne and Sydney. Um, and they heard about Cuba PD and the big rush and people were making, you know, lots of money. Uh, so a lot of migrants, you know, decided to come and live in Cuba PD. So when the first Greeks came to the Cuba PD? Yeah, uh, my father, um, he used to come mine in Cuba PD and then he'd go fruit picking mm -hmm. to make a little bit of money and then come back and do some more mining. Uh, but after that, you know, the population started, you know, getting bigger and bigger, and it was a thriving population. Mm. Um, beautiful time, yeah. Come up through here, we're going to see, um, this is an original hand winch. Oh. All right, so picture the shaft, you know, that the miner would climb in and out. This would sit, sit on top of the shaft. Um, the miner would work by hand down downstairs, fill his bucket up, and then Manually. Yeah. So there was a couple of guys downstairs 
and then one, one person up the top, wind that up, and then you just throw your bucket. But that's the original. There's the original one, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, come through here, you'll see in the museum here, we have, you know, lots of artifacts of, uh, um, you know, collection of beautiful opals found in Cupipedia. We've got the nice cockle shell forming in the rock there. And then we've just got some beautiful pieces throughout. Nice. Yeah. And here we've got some beautiful carvings and it was the same gentleman that, that did the carvings in the Serbian hall. Oh, that's New Zealand guy, eh? Mm. So at the same time he did, you know, these beautiful But the workmanship is mm -hmm. amazing. That Come was the beginning of 90s, huh? Yeah. 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 Come over here and I'll show you some of the first opal. This is um, Willie Hutchison family. And they're the, um, they're the you know, founders of Cuba Pedi. Mm -hmm. So they've donated uh, some of the letters um, from the family to the old timers mine and some of the first opal found in Cooper Pedy. So you will see there 1st of February 1915 that's when the opal was found and the family donated this um, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a real bit of Cooper Pedy history. history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, huh? Mm. It's amazing. Yeah. Come through and, uh, and I'll show you through to the underground home. Um, come this way, guys. This is the first projector that Cooper Pedy had, the old drive-ins back in the early days. Mm -hmm. It was very popular. Um, you know, there was no TVs in the early yeah, days. Uh, so all the families would gather um, at the, at the drive-in. Um, which we still have here today. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Greek club, Serbian club, um, Italian club, everybody used to go and visit all the clubs. It was amazing. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Uh, come down this way, guys. We'll take you up. Just watch your step here. And you'll see this was the old mine that we've converted you know, mm -hmm. um, in, into, and this is one of the old houses. This is one of the early houses. So this dugout, so this dugout dates back to 1918. Oh. Just this little dugout here. So the early miners used to, you know, live in the mine originally, but then they wanted to have their own little House. So actually the first dugout started with the, with the first miner, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see very basic, you know, you've got your stove um, area there with your chimneys, uh, and then the refrigerator, you know. Here, this is the refrigerator that they used, to, well, everywhere. Yeah. It was the same. Um, and your washing machine in the early days there, uh, but special, you know. It is, yes. But all dug by hand, so everybody, so, you know, You'll see here, very shallow to the top of the ground, but mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm. you know, they come, you know, come down through there. Uh, and come down this way, guys. Um, watch your step. But this. This, this dugout here was a little bit more modern oh, yeah. style, um, but this one was built in the early 60s. So, you know, you'll see the Goff family, they built this. Uh, you'll see some beautiful photos of the Goff family there, uh, uh, but all dug by hand. And that's the front door there. So you've got a little veranda which faces on the outside. Oh, okay. Um, and you enter through there. So this is the kitchen and dining area. And um, and then you come into the master bedroom here. Um, uh, 
And this is Jenny and Ron Goff's uh, bedroom throughout. So very comfortable oh, yes. style of living. Mm -hmm. uh, and all dug by hand, you know, they've, they've worked, squared it. Uh, and then we've got the toilet and shower built just in here. Also underground, but all the pipe work sits to the back. Mm -hmm. You know, the back side of the Very property. Sure. So then it just comes through and down into the ground. Amazing. Yeah. And the early style stove. Uh, no gas back then, it was just timber logs, uh, mm -hmm. you know, being put in there. So winters are here cold in the night, huh? Yeah. Cold, yeah, yeah. So, you know, summertime when you're underground, um, you know, you're looking at about 20, 21, 21 mm -hmm. degrees. So, you know, it's quite nice. Yes, yes. But you can feel there's a little bit drafty, mm -hmm. you know, through here. Um, but the early days, you load up the timber fire mm -hmm. and everything's good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that just runs up into the shaft mm. and and everything. That's it, yeah. yeah. Good, guys. And this is just one of the daughter's uh, bedrooms in the early days. And you see how the children would live. Uh, but the Goff family, they, they left this dugout and where the... Um, uh, where the jail door was, the timber door up in the gallery, mm -hmm. the family, uh, uh, the mum still lives at the back of that. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, amazing. And now we're going back into the old mine section, guys, again. So is this one, that's the opal? No, uh, no, no. This, is, this is gypsum. That's another type of mineral. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you a bit of... Um, Opal, yeah, this is just a mineral. Okay. The farmers use that um, when they're working underground. But come in here and, and go to the left, and you're going to see a beautiful bit of opal. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So That's you, why actually they're using the lights. Yeah. It's much easier to recognize it. Yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. But you'll see, if you get the camera in here, come in and then you can just point there or, or talk to say that this is... You know, just down here, this is what the miner is looking for, that main, that main vein through there. And this is beautiful colour. Mm. Something very special and, and expensive. Something like this, the opal is about uh, $2,000 an ounce. So an ounce is just about a handful. Mm. But this type of opal, you're looking at about 2000 an ounce. So a lot of tourists visit uh, yeah. India. Yeah. So this you know is a very popular mine because it's a lot of history throughout mm. you know because it's the old mine people want to see the history mm. of the town uh, they have the experience to walk through the old mine but then as you get into the gallery there's a lot of you know sort of articles for people to read and things to see as well uh, but also we've got the underground home there, which is something very yes, special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, 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 yes. Um, I can show you a little bit of rough opal, just to show you, you know, uh, um, the bits of opal that come out of the ground. And you'll see here, you'll see that, you know, this is just a little bit of opal. Mm -hmm. And when we're digging, you know, we're looking for some nice big, big pieces, but you'll see some beautiful color. If I can notice you keeping in the water? Yeah, just, just to show. Yeah, just to show the beautiful Ah, oh, okay, that's you know. Uh, but then you'll see, you know, you can find some pieces oh. like this. Some beautiful uh, uh, big big chunks there. And then they've got some beautiful colour running through. Mm. So something like that, eventually I'll, I'll cut the top of that off. And then we can cut some stones and mm. make some jewellery. But that shows you how big the pieces mm. can be. If we find this with full colour, well, then we're very happy. So, yeah. Uh, no, beautiful, guys. Uh, 